Very recently, uh, writing about the filmmaker Terence Malick, the critic Jeffrey O'Brien um, described his way of working as having the associative and digressive quality of a long poem, open-ended and immense. Um, he then went on to talk about the kinds of difficulties uh, of audience reception that that created for him. But uh, be that as it may, I think if you take away the word immense, and concentrate on the adjectives uh, associative, digressive, and open-ended. Um, those would be descriptions of uh, ways of making connections that I find very appealing. And so I've always tried to keep the work as, um, as multivalent and as discursive as possible and to sort of refuse closure. But having said that, um, when I'm asked to talk about the work like this and I'm forced to look back at decades of, uh, of sculptures, I realize that there are certain things that are quite consistent. And perhaps the most prominent of those is um, an obsession with um, the notion of vanitas. You know, those images um, that express the fleetingness uh, of existence. And this is um, so much the case that uh, I even think of the studio itself as a kind of, um, at least more metaphorically, a kind of memento mori, a place of ruin and, and collapse. And um, likewise, I'm interested in certain studio genres, which you might call. Uh, aging or elderly um, genres such as uh, that of portraiture or the still life or even the possibly soon to be extinct floral painting. Um, at any rate, uh, with this first piece I'm going to show you from the mid 80s, um, I think you can see some of these concerns already at work. This is a pile of ideas, having an idea about themselves. Um, I borrowed the icon of the light bulb from comic strip to imagery, of course. Um, but if this is a pile of thoughts, they're pretty black thoughts indeed. And in fact, even the nature of their logic is as rather blended, it's circular, it's logical, because when we're going to put together these ideas, it's going to be a Thank you. 